All right, welcome back to the channel. We are here with a dragon deck. So this is the deck that fits one Duck Devastators 4 with, the exact card for card. I just downloaded it. Um, I wanted to play this deck for a while just to try it out, see how it was. And we never really got around to it because a lot has happened since then. Like there were there was a tournament every single week from Deck Devastators 4 to the week after. And then there was like nationals and there was a lot going on. So yeah, it's been a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! But finally made our way to trying this deck out now. And uh, this was one of my only losses in Deck Devastators 4. This is my only loss in Swiss, to be exact. So I, I think it's a decent deck. Like, I genuinely do. I, I like the idea of dragons playing trap cards because it, it can make subtle pushes and then just set a back row, kind of like how Diva Hero plays. And then when an opponent tries to retaliate or break the board, you just stop them once and then they die because you're backed by like prime material or whatever. And I'd also say that this deck has one of the strongest future fusions in the format because any deck playing Red Eyes Wyvern specifically, like this card makes it where you just get free pluses from future fusion in the same way that like future fusion for malicious would do. Um, so there's that. And Quacky Mirror Drago, it's just always a good meta call because light and dark decks are typically going to be prominent in any format of Yu-Gi-Oh ever. So yep. this hurts That's value. my biggest thing. Yeah. That's my biggest thing with uh, Drago, when you have math and your math adds up to your opponent's life points, it's always game. Yep. I do like <laughs> that feeling of just knowing that, that that's the thing that's re really ignorant about Drago and uh, Red MD. When the math adds up, it is literally always game. Yeah. And There's I don't like no like Ogores, yes. Vader, all that shit. And that's why I think, um, you know, recently in the tier uh, matchup guide video um, that Fraser posted, that's why I think I agree with him very much that. Dragons can be a very problematic matchup for frogs because they normally are, you know, just sitting around being like, oh, you can't touch me. Like, because I got Gores, I got Fader, right. I got 2K, 2K bodies. But Drago and that, uh, they don't really care much about that when they can just eliminate stuff off your field, like brew your field, then summon guys, then attack, attack, all for lethal. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree with everything you said. It's, it's one of the reasons why I hate Fossil Dino when I'm the frog player. Because I know that whatever damage my opponent puts out that turn is going through 100% because of the Dyna. So this guy is just a bigger Dyna, which is super problematic. But yeah, there's 12 dragons in this deck, it looks like. So the whole top row, I like the way this is built, where it just has all the dragons at the top, kind of like the frogs. And then it just has these two right here. So it's 12 dragons. So Future Fusion should never be dead. And then you play main deck Snowman Eater, which makes sense because of the meta at that time. It was like Hero Beat was the best deck, the best performing deck, at least in War League. And this is really anti that. Also, I think that Snowman Eater is just really good in general. Black Wings and Vayu are great decks. And it's effective against both of them. Also, for people who think that Fairies is a good deck, like Snowman also eats that deck too. No pun intended. So, yeah, this card is just well placed in the meta. You should not be laughing. Um, I'm laughing because you're just like, for people who think fairies is a good deck. Because, I mean, like, at this <laughs> point, it's copium, right? Like, if you're still, if you're still one of a few people. I was people... just laughing because it's just like, we're talking about how great Snowman <laughs> is. Like, by the way, fairies are shit. And here's another reason why. Yeah, I just don't want to lie to people. Um, I, I pride myself on being very honest on this channel because I really don't have anything to, to gain by lying to you guys. Like, it, it doesn't do anything for me. So, yeah, I think that fairies is not the best deck by far. And I think that Snowman Eater is really good against that deck so yeah this card is nice this is well placed this deck sets a lot more monsters than i would like so there's one two three four five theoretically six maybe seven here uh but it does also have like this insane face up package right like this all of this is just like in your face a lot of the deck does play face up and yeah. you know it just has the upside where if you play future fusion your win rate probably has to be over 60, 70 percent. Like yeah. it's very hard to lose after that point has has occurred. I heard that there is a stat in Edison format that says if you win game one or no, if you win the die roll, there's a 66 percent chance that like you win the whole set or something like that or you win that game. I forget what the so stat I was. think that's based off War League data. It is War League data. Um, yes. Yeah, it's uh, whoever goes first wins uh, like 66.7 percent of the time. Yep, like the whole match. Are they saying like the whole thing or what, or just the game? Uh, I think maybe I think it's the it just game. means for yeah. I think it just means for that game. Yeah. Um, so going first but is a if huge If you think advantage. about that though, um, you know, you go first the first time, you're gonna go first. Game the, three, you know, the second, yeah, game three. So yes, I guess that stat is still relevant to that where you're more likely to just win the set because you know, obviously, if you're sixty six percent, that means you're past the halfway threshold of being favorable to win. Yep. You know. So yeah, I, I, that's that is wild. But okay, let's let's get into a duel. 
not the not the shade at the fairies from the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can't help myself. Okay, it was it was, it was just this? it was just in tournament. Uh, mm-hmm. It might be like the weekend, not the weekend, the um, DB tournament. I yeah, wonder which one going which on. One. Maybe it's that one server that's new, like ENT collectibles. Maybe it's that one. <laughs> Smay. Smay. All right. Well, <laughs> okay. This hand is, is, it's a hand. It's very defensive. This is kind of how it played against me too. I didn't know he main decks no meteor. So I definitely ran into one of them and I was like, oh shit. Yep. Oh no. Oh. What? Okay. I. We have to kind of think, uh, do you just call six to not get Jinzo'd? <laughs> but you don't even care about Jinzo either, though. Yeah, I don't care about Jinzo specifically. Oh, man, what is this? Like, I really don't know. What's the know. worst thing that comes out? In the format? What's the worst thing that comes out in the format? Oh, man. Oh, uh, level six for vanities. Oh, you can't special that. Yeah, it can't um, be that. I'm trying to think about level eight, but I don't think there's a level eight that's scary either. I'm just going to say four. Isn't four no. just the most generic thing? I mean, four is the most common level type, right? So I'm just going to say sure. four. Fuck it. I mean, it's like, I have no... Okay. Well, sorry. Sorry to that man. Yep. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. Nah, that's the, yeah, we we were all fucking hyped up and worried. We were just like, oh shit. Yeah, that was insanely anticlimactic. Like, all right, set the yard. Yeah. Uh, I will put down the snowman. I was thinking about which one, but I'll put down the snowman. I'll put down the road less traveled. I'll put down this, and I'll put down. Which one out of bottomless in prison? I'm gonna do. I think bottomless. You just want to cover the synchro that he makes. Yeah, if they make one. Turn <laughs> trinity. Okay, I think I'm going to dust this back row. Yeah, yep. we're gonna dust this. You want to set that D prison so you have to pick it back up. No, I don't want him to know that I actually have another back row. But I, no, I know. Yeah, I'm trolling. Yeah. <laughs> I get where you're on now. All right, Caius. Yeah. Caius. Oh, okay. This is a Borg. All right. Well, this guy's just playing a lot of interesting cards. Yeah. Turnade is a card you don't see often. Um, yeah. Or Reasoning. That's just because Reasoning's not good. Do I even want to commit the Reaper to the field in case he Monarchs again? I, I, I'm, I'm actually a, I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I'm actually yeah, not playing that Reaper I think you just set there. the yard again. Yeah, that Reaper is not Now, if he summons Spear Reaper on you... I mean, dear God. <laughs> I'm just taking 24 again. Okay, well, you can... You can kick rocks. Alright, can we, like, draw a dragon off the top? Alright, well, Reaper's definitely coming in hot. Ooh, is he, though? Are you afraid? Well, oh, I'm not afraid. Bush. I, I want to see. Okay. Yeah, I want to see his hand. All right, let's do that. Yeah, you're right. I want a Reaper to come in hot so bad. He's going to come in hot. Don't worry. He's coming. He didn't do anything last turn. Now we're just avoiding the Gores. This might be the first Gores that Frazier sends back. I don't think he has Gores, to be perfectly honest, but we It'd should be see. wild, though, right? You, sent, you, you are sending back Gores then. Yeah, I'm curious to what he has, but that declare button, maybe. Oh, wow, okay. he does have Gores. Oh, my good golly gee. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're forced to send back Gores, so yes. this isn't what I wanted. So. Card <laughs> is This is not the this is not the hand that I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be one monster, and I wanted you to look at yourself and say, and just reflect on all the times, sending back Gores is never the right answer. You know, well, I like that it's my only choice, so it wasn't really up to me right now. Yeah, you didn't you didn't have like a uh, a conflict in your brain. Yeah. Okay. Damn, he said fuck brain control and avarice. That's wild, by the way. <laughs> that is unhinged behavior. Uh. Uh. No. Yeah, that's too much to deal with. Yeah, I'm also scared that's of a too much. play. Yeah. Yeah, please pass. Like, actually, just please pass. Yeah, he's been, he's been, oh man, what do we want to draw here? Future Fusion, are you kidding? Okay, that's not bad. I'll take him. Yeah. Red MD and Wyvern. 
he oh i forgot that that's a thing that could happen <laughs> like that is a thing that is a thing that can happen and that could just blow the whole game out of proportion okay well no out of proportion right now honestly brain control probably wasn't even that bad of a mill for us so i'll take it yeah. you want to just set the heavy to in case he draws heavy sure in case he draws heavy and just decides, I'm a fucking play heavy storm. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god. Main deck, yo, this guy's deck is fucking crazy. Oh, oh that's, that's that really real? Good. Yeah, that's what? That's very real. It gets back. Oh no, it gets back this. It gets back this, uh, which is good. Okay. Yeah. No. No. I was just. I was just trying to see if it, if it was live. Uh, do we want to just push really hard with like? But like, so you don't want to make Iron Chain because he's he's a graveyard deck. We also um, can't make Iron Chain. We can only make sevens, right now. Only make sevens. Yeah, uh, honestly, you can make Ancient Fairy. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna just play it softly. I'm gonna play it soft. Damn. I wanted you to make Ancient Fairy. I'm gonna play it soft because I want to draw red eyes, and I'm really close to drawing red eyes. I haven't milled any. I guess that's fair as well. Why? Why? Uh, oh, is he just playing cards? Okay, I understand now. Yeah, but it doesn't do anything. We're fine. We get we get a draw. His thing gets banished. Is that what happens for, for it this? Does. Or destroyed? Okay. Uh huh. Goodbye. Oh, that's game. I think he's actually just dead. I don't think is it death. Wrong. I'm gonna find out real soon. Okay. Uh, it's not death. Uh. Well, it's about. We're about to find out if it's death because it could be death. I don't think it's death. I think it's here. So Trooper might mill a dragon, and it might be death. Mmm. I forgot this is also a thing. Yeah, you're... <laughs> you're. I'm like, it could be death. It's probably death. So... Uh, how much is that? Banish this, summon that back, and then the, I guess... Because the 1900 would just be bigger, so this is the biggest one. So we didn't mill iron. We didn't yeah, mill. that's the biggest one. Uh, okay, so... Banish... Special. Declare mm -hmm. effect. Uh, yeah, just summon this thing back. Am I missing something? You know what? I'm not thinking. I'm slamming cards. Okay, so this is only 400. Yeah, so this is where we are. Yeah, I mean, his deck can't beat this. He he literally only plays Dark Monsters Bro, except for fucking Zaborg. most decks can't beat this. <laughs> I mean, this is true. <laughs> like, this, this specifically is wild. What would have been death? Prime material? So we needed a thousand more. Uh, okay. Uh, prime material's not a thousand more. So I guess math-wise, you actually didn't have death there, no matter what. Yeah, prime material was only 500 more damage. Uh, yep. there's probably, there's probably a play. I, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it later, because I could also have brought back a different thing with, I could have brought back a, no, I couldn't have, never mind, never mind. I thought that I could bring back um, a dragon <laughs> like this. I could not. Nah, right. we got no small dragons. Yeah. Okay, so I don't have a huge opinion on what his deck is trying to do, but I'm just going to put this in because... Uh, Power Well doesn't target, so I guess Crow isn't that great, but he does play Plague, which... Yeah, and Armageddon Knight. I'm not, this is the best card in the deck. Um, yeah, we're not taking that out. Um, I don't think he plays back row. That's what it's seeming like, right? Like the, the all He plays the... fucking Card Destruction, Heavy Storm, and True Nade. Yeah, it's giving. I don't play a lot of back row. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this bottom strap. We're going second. Bob is also just kind of, just kind of blows. Damn, he said go. They always get feisty when they got the taste of cream. When they got a little cream on their lip, they always no, get feisty. I don't know if he, I don't know if that was feisty. I'm I'm being very like um, naive tonight. You know, I was naive with the gores, and now I'm being naive with this. I don't think he's being rude here. I I, I really don't, because I put a thinking face, and he's like go question mark. But I don't, I'm not reading that as like, go. Mm, well, I, could, I could be being a little, a little slow there, but. Uh, it's all right. I don't know how it's this okay deck. To be slow. I don't know how this deck plays. So I'm going to set this. I'm going to pass. Yeah, I want to see what he's up to. Yeah. We're up a game, you know? Let's see what the boys got for us. MST. I'm trying to beat anything. A Ryko, an MST. I have no idea what that said. Oh, it was a Reaper. And. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Agenzo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Okay. Oh, that's great. Well, he made next knock. 
<laughs> Stop. <laughs> Here it comes. Knock. Uh. Oh no, he's just gonna fucking try to burrito you. Yeah. That's that the shit. type of duelist this guy is. This shit was never happening, no. <laughs> he's gonna try to burrito you. <laughs> Damn, oh, he's man. gonna be fucking sick. Yo, if we mill uh, level three as well, we black rose him for the crackback with the dust shoot. Oh my good golly gee. Interesting. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, he's taking it all anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> you were trying to play around burial? Yeah, I was actually. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad fair. that you're good enough to know what just happened there. Yeah, it's been a long journey. Go ahead and put that in the banner zone for him. He's having a tough time. He got it. There he goes. Does he? I think he got you. I mean, he definitely has me. A fucking Jinzo <laughs> just came out. Like, that's wild. <laughs> oh, he thinks he synchroed with that plague. The plague was banished from Pro. So Kree bonds. He... Yeah, the Kree bonds is used. Wait, what? Is it going? Why is, it, why is Brio going back? You can still make Brio. You just have to use Krebens. There we go. Now watch, I bet. How many darks he's got? Did he accidentally find Dark Arm? Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> no, I guess that's one reason why he probably didn't want to, like. Did he already. He pushed yeah. the refer. Yeah, okay, I see what's happening. Yep. So we have one chance to draw specifically uh, Future Fusion, I guess? Yeah, future fusion is a good out. You get the black rose and then wyvern next turn. Um, oh, oh, that this doesn't is do still it. Here, yeah. And this is All right, goodbye. Like that. Yep, I meant defeat. Okay, Jinzo. <laughs> I was right for signing and soul taker. You thought he was soft. You thought he was soft. I don't. I don't know if I thought too much of anything. I know one thing. These are coming in now. <laughs> you thought he was sweet. You thought you could be like, oh, I'm a bait out of MST, a Ryko. I thought a lot of things, Tango. <laughs> yep. And then he showed you. He showed you just how powerful he is. I like his deck. <laughs> I don't like ours, though. It's all right. We're going to bring out a Drago. And that's going to be the end of the game. Okay. So I could just go Drago Mirror Force, but then I also have this Gores. You want him to run in the Gores? I think he'll do it for you if you ask nicely. All right, dueling book. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. All right. I don't know what could actually beat over a Drago, to be honest. Turn one. Uh, nothing in his deck. He's playing Welladad or some shit. Wella Zombie, whatever the fuck this is. Zombies can't beat this monster. <laughs> Not just That's can't beat this monster. That's why zombies suck. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, <laughs> battle phase. Do I wanna you want to get out? some licks in or no? No, because I have Gore still. I'm still like mildly playing towards it. Take a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Not the fucking Marshmallow. Yep. Here comes a Monarch too. <laughs> or Jinzo again. Yo. All right. At least we can tribute over it. But yo, <laughs> it's so annoying. Yo, this guy is great. I love him. All right, well, your Jinzo belongs to me now. Yeah, he's got a Jinzo Returner. He's gonna bring back his Jinzo. You watch. <laughs> this is awesome. To you. <laughs> this is so good. Yo, all right. At least we can still tribute over. For some reason, when I saw that, I my heart's my heart's uh my heart sunk. <clears throat> so what's prime material? You got to drop any card. Yeah, gate, I think right? it's. Uh, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Yeah. Okay. Monarch. We can't really want you to monarch right now. It can't be Zaborg like it was the one time. Oh my god, it's fucking chaos, or sir. <laughs> Yo, this guy's deck is so heat. 
<laughs> I'm so fucking annoyed. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Yo, this is unreal. <laughs> Alright, at least you get Gores. Gores is gonna clean this up quick. Oh. Oh, this is, this is probably one of my favorite games we ever played. <laughs> I hate you and him. <laughs> uh, take the battle. Yeah, there you go. Yep, you got it. All right. All right. Can all good things come to an end now? All right. Good. Good. We got there. We got there. All right. Yeah. You got the gores that you wanted. You wanted this gore so badly for so long. <laughs> I did. I'm, I'm over this guy, though. Let me just tell you that. <laughs> I am fucking over him and his nonsense. So we're going to kill oh, wait. you. <sighs> Misplayed, I think. Did I? He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna monarch your ass. Oh, you want MST? Yes. Okay. What do you mean? This I just finished. figured you were just gonna summon all mo summon all monsters and uh, be kill everything. Oh no no no! I want to set this snowman so I have retaliation with this. Okay, so you're a little ahead of me, as always. It's all right. <laughs> Not always. This year you've been a lot better. You've seen things that I haven't seen. Right. There was that one video where you you knew to kill someone. Uh, okay, the start malicious. There's no way he milled the Mally just now. There is. He had a Mally in his hand. Okay. <clears throat> well, I mean, you might not even have to end up a Misty in this shit. Why you say that? Okay, so he's just. Trying well, now to I want to keep my token, right? Uh, yeah. Let's end this game. You've had enough of them, haven't you? I we have a heavy storm? I actually have. I've been too lenient, too. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, this fucker, he's not, he, he's not getting a go good gores. I know he thinks that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Oh. All right. Game 36 back. <clears throat> You're not dead. I'm not finished with you yet. That's basically what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so they play. I mean, heavy. there's. An, yeah, I mean. Yeah. There's yeah. no reason to. There's no reason not to set it. Uh, is it for? Only bad things can happen. Hearts. Only bad things can happen if. Uh, is it crazy that it. I'm scared of DD Crow his malicious because I'm scared of Dark Arm Dragon? But then like, well, this guy is lucky, so I would. I'm telling you, leave that mal Mally right where it is. Yeah. And because whatever and he if, makes he... dies to Snowman Eater. If he makes yeah. level eight Synchro, I'd rather deal with that because it just died. And if he banishes malicious, I'm crowing a different Dark. Yep, I agree. I agree with both of those plays. <laughs> All right. Well, he's looking at the extra, so. Yeah, like We're likely he'll, he'll make a level eight like Colossal or some shit, and I'm okay with that. Stardust doesn't do anything because I have Gores. And this is just game. You know, put Plague in a grave, and I'm just going to DD Pro that thing as soon as he activates its effect. <laughs> you've been you've been hailing Marys all day. He has. Jinzo is wild. I'm now after this specific duel, I am considering Jinzo as a real card because it has been quite troublesome against trap right. decks. No more pass. Right. Yep. <clears throat> GG's. Jinzo is nice. Yeah, it took a brain I mean, control like and like prom material and a gores to like put that thing in a coffin. <laughs> 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 like it took a lot. Cause he came back. He came he fucking came back. He came back. Dead. Jinzo just came back. <laughs> I don't know if this is this is like the typo or something. I don't know what this means. I mean, he, I, I guess he means like old god, like Jinzo is an old god card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm narcissistic, I mean, but I kind of thought he was talking about me at one point when he said that. And I was like, no, that's just me being ridiculous, right? <laughs> like, and that's just me being absolutely ridiculous. The conversation with Jinzo, not fucking you. Uh, so let's just look at this because I don't I don't know what happened, but like I kind of. Yeah, that was wild. Okay, so this starts off just we 
I call it four because it's the most generic thing. I can't believe you card destruction here. I can't believe you card destruction there, bro. Ooh. That's crazy. Main deck knock too. Main deck knock is on one. This was an unhinged play right here. Like for the most part, the other stuff he did was pretty good, but that was unhinged. I gotta be honest, I'm I'm pretty certain he was just here to have fun. Yeah, he said he was an old god. We I don't got, think he said he was an old guy. Oh, I still misinterpreted that, I guess. We got fucking bopped here. <laughs> Yo, you you had the you had the saltiest taste of dick in your mouth. I did. And it's also because I was trying to be cute. You were like, oh, you're trying to beat out like an MST. And I was like, yeah, I'm trying to beat yeah. out like an MST or a Ryko or something. And he's just like, I have none of that. I have literally yeah, none I of that. I called Jinzo though. too when he reasoning. I was like, this motherfucker's on Jinzo. You did I say swear that. God. And I was like, that's a fucking rant. <laughs> Like everything about what you said was a rant, dude. Yo, yo, you said it was a rant, but he fucking slam dunked your ass with Jinzo. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking beat the shit out of me this game with Jinzo. <laughs> like, oh, oh. Brio was so problematic though, because I should not have lost that game. But Brio was so outrageous. Yeah, Brio. I mean, he fucking has real decree, Brio. How many does he play? <laughs> <laughs> Enough. You were so mad when you saw that Jinzo come out again. I was. Oh man. That sure yeah, when also, he this when he DDR'd it back, I was just like, oh my goodness. Good thing that we have Gores, because you would have fucking lost. Yeah, honestly, yes. Cause this deck, I'm gonna say this, it's too much of a dueling deck. It does not outside of I guess future fusion, it doesn't do anything unfair. Like this this felt way too close for comfort for me against a deck that's not even real. Wait, he does have another Jinzo in his hand. Isn't Jinzo at one in this format? No, I don't think so, because there's a Jinzo deck, remember? The one that plays Future Fusion and sends all those Jinzo returners. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, Jinzo's at three. Maybe. You know that, because there's, there's an OTK deck that goes Future Fusion for like three Jinzos and two returners or some shit like that, and it just summons three Jinzos back from the grave. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's a, that's a deck that people play. Um... So yeah, Gentle's at more than one, for sure. Like that's a hundred percent a thing. Sure, yeah, sure. I'm just feeling like this is not this deck is I don't know, it's too it's too fair. It's like way too I mean, too I fair. feel like if you're gonna if you're gonna play the inconsistency of dragons, right? Like yeah, I, I know where this is going. Double down on the unfair. Yeah, I mean Dragon Turbo is definitely like it, it has to be a better deck than this. By default. Cause it just straight up wins the game on turn one. And then if it doesn't, it kind of loses. But this deck, I feel like, just does that with more steps. Like, it's just way more <laughs> difficult. Like, oh, if, if this deck draws Future Fusion, it probably just wins the game flat out, right? But then, like, everything else that it does, I just feel like it's so fair. It's too, it's too dually. It's too much dueling. And I'm... I don't know. I feel like if I... I feel like there's no way that Frogs actually have a bad matchup against this. This is too slow. Like, it's too... It's just too fair. And I, when I did play Fitz, I remember he did draw Future Fusion against me, like... And... It was at a point where it was pivotal. Like we were we were going back and forth slowly. And I was like, okay, if I could fade one more turn, I'm I'm finally gonna be set up. And then future fusion happened and it threw the whole game out of whack, as you can imagine. And yeah, yeah, I just feel like I feel like the way it is, right? Is that with uh with with dragons, well, specifically just against frogs, like if one of your best plays is set a monster, which I think is probably pretty often with this deck it is it, we just saw we just played game we played three games with it and i set up monster basically every turn one um and then game three like the only reason i didn't is because i opened up drago and nothing else but this deck does set monsters are quite often period it plays like six of them yeah i that's 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 where my concern comes uh for that deck is that it uh if you're if one of your best plays is set a monster you're naturally going to have a tough time with frogs yes and when I when I remember when I played game two, I got randomly OTK'd 
because I, it was like he had the perfect back rows. His back rows were Solemn Judgment, Call of the Haunted, and I forget what the third one was, but he used all three of his back rows and he did a play that was like Red Eyes plus Drago with those three back rows and killed me out of nowhere. Like the game was just a mm -hmm. regular dueling game where I was pretty much, I looked like I was going to win for sure. And then I just got OTK'd. I had Battle Fader in my hand, of course, but he he uh, solemned me and Call of the Haunted and like Drago was on the field when he did that and he just attacked the game out of nowhere. And I was like, damn, that's crazy. I felt like if I got to duel against this deck more, I would have just won for sure. At least that game two. Game one after the Feature Fusion, it probably was really no way I was winning. And I misplayed really bad if I remember correctly, because that was the game where I played Naked. <laughs> So I don't know. I this deck, I'll I'll play with it more. Like I definitely want to play with it more. To I want to play against a real deck first of all, but I can't imagine it's going to go too much better, considering how scary it was against a fake deck. So I don't know. Like I always hate the thing where you lose a die roll and then you play set monsters and then your opponent also plays set monsters, but they went first, so they get to put their Raiko down before you, and then you're just awkwardly holding a Raiko against their Raiko. I hate that. So yeah, I uh, I don't know. The verdict is still out. I don't want to completely like shit on it, but this to me was not a very good showing for multiple reasons. Like the hands just weren't good. I'm not even considering my opponent. I don't care about my opponent at all in this case. Just the hands did not seem like they were good against the S tier decks. Like I just, when I think of the S tier decks, I'm like, there's no way this, this fucking hangs with the S tiers. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> so, all right, well, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. We will catch you in the next one. I'm definitely going to do a follow-up video with this deck. But uh, yeah, until then, peace.